Communism, yes, and what else? Just one word. If you can't say one sentence, then one word. Communism? Okay. What about commun communism? What happened to communism then? Yes, the ideology that, that, that they didn't want in Indonesia. And then, um, what happened to the people who were considered communists at that time? Sorry? Yeah. So actually, to attempt the military actually set up and, um, like like a movement to uh, um, you know find communists. Yeah. So they kind of uh, in order to create security to uh, in the country they. In order to create security, and then they had to murder these communists. Why? This is important for me. I, I have to know what you know first before I start my talk. You can, you can say anything. Okay, why do you think to create a security they have to murder these communists? Why? What, 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 have this, what, what did com communists do, do you think? So communism has been associated with some military action in the 9th September 30th. So right. communism has been blamed for uh, like uh, mastermind of this action, okay. which is make me actually confused. But I, what I understand is just like a middle rank of military uh, uh, personnel that dissatisfied with their general, yeah. something like that. Some, yeah. some internal conflict between uh, a military. And right. then this goes out into blaming communism. So right, okay. Something um, like uh, this. This, this. That gentleman that this is in. My understanding is that the Communist Party had a larger support, mm -hmm. yeah. much larger support in the military. Right. And they had to break the power of that public support. Mm -hmm. And also it's very important to the Americans. Yes. And awful, the Americans gave hundreds of thousands of names to, yes. that they had collected to the Indonesian mm -hmm. military, um, all yes. of them to be killed. Yep. And it took, my memory is it took about six or eight weeks for the death squads to work their way yes. from Java to yep. Java across yep. to Bali. Yep. And I think it was very, I know about it from the history of the Vietnam War because it was very, very important to the Americans. It was in a sense what they were doing, their terror was that the, the communist victory in Vietnam mm -hmm. would then lead to communist victories in Thailand, and in, uh, but particularly in Indonesia, where the Communist Party had so much support. So, I think they had to kill half a million people in order to make everybody else so afraid. Mm -hmm. And from another point of view, that's called security. Yes. Okay. That's quite interesting. And you know what happened actually in 1959, communist the Communist Party in Indonesia was the largest communist party in the world outside of Russia and China. Okay, with three million people, three million members. And um, yes, you were right. The American government was warned. Okay, because that was the start of Cold War, you know. So he was um, um, the, the American government was really warned with the development of communism in Indonesia. Okay. And plus Indonesia is rich in resources like, you know, Papua. Uh, West Papua is the biggest gold mine in the world. So, America wanted to do that. They wanted to dig this, this gold, of course. Okay? Unfortunately, Sukarno was quite tough on them, you know, supported by the Communist Party. Sukarno said to um, the American um, big companies like Freeport. Um, okay, if you want to come to Indonesia, fine. You get 30%, you get 70%. And then he started sending lots and lots of people overseas with the view of replacing these overseas workers with the more, you know, like the, the more educated Indonesians. Because at that time, Indonesians weren't ready. They weren't educated, 
lots of good. You know, after the colonialism, the country was really in a mess, in a real mess. So Sukarno sent lots of people overseas to study. That's the view, you know. So eventually, he would replace these foreign people with the local people. Of course, you know, and the American never wasn't happy with this. So what to do? They have to find someone. Well, this is the confusing thing. No one knows what Suharto really did, actually. There are so many theories about uh, Suharto. Was he actually collaborating with uh, the CIA right from the beginning? No one knows. Or was he just this person who actually um, took the chance because there was a chaos, he took the chance, he took the opportunity, and then he got the power. There are just so many, you know, when I read the history, there are just so many theories, and, and they're just so different. So what happened, um, there were rumors about uh, the 30th of September, and it actually it happened on the 1st of October, not the 30th of September, because it happened in, at, at 3, uh, after 12, after midnight. It happened on the, second, the 1st of October. So, um, do you know what happened then? Can you tell me how many gentles were, were murdered? And, uh, um, can, can anyone tell me what happened then? Six children were murdered. Six children were murdered by who? Well, like what you said, yet communists were accused of yeah. So six children were, were, were murdered. Um, uh, so there, there was an autopsy. And then uh, on the 3rd of October, it was already decided that the communists was to blame. On the 5th of October, the propaganda against communism spread. So it was that fast, you know. Compare this to the murder of Munir, how long did it take? No, it doesn't even conclude it, is it? How many years does it take for the Indonesian government to actually, you know, look into this case? It's so long. And why suddenly, with the murder of six generals, in a few days they, they could just conclude 100% it was communist fault? You know, it doesn't make sense, actually. It doesn't really make sense. But that's what happened, is it? The was uh, to blame. And um, there were rumors like the generals were mutilated. You know, these, these are the heroes of Indonesia. They were mutilated. And they were raped by the left-wing women, Gerwani. You know, Gerwani was affiliated, uh, the left-wing uh, women's organization affiliated with the Indonesian Communist Party, PKI. Yeah, before. And then now I'm going to continue. And um, I'm going to tell you a bit about the timeline. Okay, 1965. So the 1st of October, dawn six top generals of the Indonesian army and one AD are kidnapped from their homes and murdered. At 7 p.m., so the announces that he know he now controls the army and claimed that the murder of the general is part of the cruel plan to seize